Hi and thank you for joining me for today's video and today I'm going to be showcasing a new Amelia Creates cup file that we've got on Hey Little Magpie. So first of all I want to create a nice mixed media background to um, show it off really. So I'm using my Lindy's Magicals. This set is called Industrial Chic and I've pulled out the two different teals. The photo I'm scrapping you would have seen at the beginning there is of my two and Leanne's daughter on a cruise that we did back in 2018 I think it was. Um, and it was them dressed up for formal evening and we took a picture of them on the balcony which was hilarious because it was so windy Sophie's hair was blowing absolutely everywhere <laughs> so I put the first colour down here you saw I spritzed the card first of all with water and then just flicked the powder onto the water and then used the packaging technique to spread that out and now I'm coming in with the darker colour and just using the water that's left over with a little bit of added water where I need it to get this darker colour down on top of that paler colour. So nearly there, just spreading it out and then adding some flicks around the edge. And then I should leave that to dry. And now that's dry, I'm going to bring this cup file in. It's a gorgeous stars border cup file. Um, and I love it. She's done a few, Amelia's done a few different designs with stars, with gears and, um, what was the other one? Oh, flowers which I think will go really nicely with the retro summer collection from Simple Stories, which is due soon. So just gluing this down with my wet glue on top of that mixed media. And that creates the left hand border. The photo is going to nestle just to the right hand side of that. So I'm just creating some photo mats underneath the photo now and I'm pulling in my Vicky Bootin Fernwood collection. I'm nearly through this now. I think I'm just about at the stage where I'm going to put the fernwood in with the print shop because the colours do mesh nicely and just use them all as one collection. So just trimming down the edges of that paper. That's going to be the first mat and then I shall tear the bottom of that. And I've just pulled out all the blues and greeny blues in this collection to use today. So there's that and now I'm going to bring in another piece and tear it the other way. And this just creates a really nice look. So using my Tim Holtz edge distresser per usual to distress the edges of those mats. And then they'll sit down on that paper. I do actually bring another paper in in a second as well. It's a beautiful navy blue with white spots on. If you know the Fernwood collection or know which one I mean. So there are those two. Just checking that I'm happy with the positioning. Glue that one down, and this is when I decide that I need another layer. Just using my fingernail there to make sure that it's all distressed. So here's that final layer, that gorgeous navy with the white spots on. And I'll rip the top off because I didn't like the pale white at the top there. And then rip the bottom as well. And I love how that just elongates the mat and brings the eye down the page. So just distressing the edges again and then popping that behind the photo. So now that mat's done, I can start working on embellishing the rest of the page. First of all, I had this half a ruler sticker from the sticker book still in the stash so I decided to use that because of all the layers of paper I needed to add some foam tape behind just so that it stood proud of the layout a little bit there and I love how that brings the eye across the right hand side of the page and it also gives me a nice shelf to put my title on so just making sure that everything's stuck down straight before I pop this down And you see that L that it creates, I really like that. So I'm using one of the JD3D print acrylic titles, Life at Sea. Because obviously that's perfect for this photo. <laughs> so again, just using my wet glue to get that stuck down. And then I'm going to come in with the Inkwell tickets. This, these are such a gorgeous blue from 49 and Market. So just adding a couple of those around the page. Just peeling up that 
ruler to get it underneath that photo. And then I want to bring in some of the paler, smaller tickets. So just pulling those out. First of all, I remember I pulled this frame out from the ephemera and I really wanted to get that in. So just adding that underneath the photo there at the top. And then these pieces I'm using of the new from the new printables at Hey Look and Magpie. This is the um, set sale collection. From, it coordinates with the Heidi Swap set sale collection that's coming very soon. But it also works really nicely with this photo. So this is one of the labels, a one and a quarter inch label. And then I've also got the camera, which is one of the um, one inch circles. And then this moment's captured. I'm adding one of our naked epoxy flare, just to create that into an epoxy flare button. And then sticking those down. I've also used one of the labels tucked into the right hand side of the photo there. Again, that's from the printables. All these bits on the right hand side that you can see are from the printables. This lab this word is from the um, ephemera from Fernwood. So just sticking that down, it just says the best. And then I wanted to bring in another circle in some different tones of the blues and greens. So just using this six by eight paper pad piece and my one inch circle again to stick that down. And that just finishes that cluster there off really nicely. So getting that label stuck down, just nestled under the photo and then the circle. And that just sort of hides the end of that label. So getting this frame stuck down now. I really like how that adds just a really subtle thing to the layout. And then one more, <coughs> excuse me, from the set sale printables. Again, creating it into an epoxy flare using one of those epoxy stickers. And sticking that down at the top. Another label from that set. They're brilliant, these printables. You can buy them pre-printed if you want or just download the PDF. They're only £1.50. It's a great value. And if you buy the downloadable, of course, you can print it again and again. So here's that other paler blue stick, um, ticket that I said I wanted to use. And that just goes in that bottom left-hand cluster. And then adding my Real Memory Keepers whole reinforcer punch just to create a couple more circles up that cut file. I thought this would work really nicely with the cut file. You can see Amelia's used some of these shapes on the actual cut file itself as well. So just a few in that navy blue, just to bring that navy blue over to the left hand side. And once they're down, I'm going to come in with my double de denim nouveau crystal drops. First of all, adding the journaling and that just says taking photos of the three of you on the balcony ready for the formal evening was hilarious. The wind was so strong. Now adding the date and I wanted to add this to that circle label. So I'm just stamping it onto some scrap card, cutting that out into a strip and then I'll pop that below that uh, word piece that says the best. Just making sure that it's trimmed down suitably. Not quite straight. <laughs> and there it goes underneath that word, the best. So here I am now, like I say, coming with those new Nouveau crystal drops. Just adding some dots around the page. And then the final flourish is to add some Oki Bear Blue inklings from Shimmer's Paints, just to add some splatters around the photo. And that's it. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope you've enjoyed this layout. It was great using that cut file from Amelia. Do check them out. I'll leave the link below to um, Hey Little Magpie where you can download these pieces. Thanks again. See you soon. Bye.